before I forget, this is gonna be the intro of today's video because we're here and I forgot to say this on the last video, but thank you for your service. Daniel, 30 years with the Navy. 30 years, I had the privilege and honor of serving the United States Navy for 30 years, both thank you active for your duty and reserve. He was an E9. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he was showing me the, the yeah, yeah, show he was me. showing me this. You guys, it's because I've never seen it until now. So that's an E9. And he says that's when you get to the Pentagon. You weren't at that level yet, you said, no, right? No, no, no. I was right here. He was right here. Petty officer, first class. That's right. So this was cool to see, and that's when I remembered. I'm like, you know what? I need to make sure. Grab this one-minute intro, because now we're ready to rock and roll with the MPS food truck project that they have. Daniel, thanks again for your service. My pleasure. All right, let's go. Are you rock and roll? Oh, you've been recording. I just started. Right. <laughs> hey, Frank Waltier is here with the DIY channel, How to Build Your Food Truck. We're out here in the Milwaukee School District once again. Uh, we're helping them out getting a better layout and a better, more detailed specifications of what they need so they can submit it so they can get their permitting done. And part of that was laying out blue tape. As you guys know, and I've told you guys before, sometimes the best way to do it is just grab a roll of blue tape, put it on the walls, and you guys can get a better visual of how you can lay out your food trucks. A couple things have changed. My man here is uh, the head concho that takes care of everything. He's gonna man up this project. Thanks, right. Thanks again for inviting me. No problem. Packers fan. Go Packers, right? <laughs> so something that changed from the original video that we did probably 12 days ago, I think I, I saw the upload, is we had talked about building this wall all the way to here where you see the black line and then putting one door that swings to the right on a right hand swing right over there. Uh, as he saw another food truck here locally to the area, he said he, preferred or they would prefer to have the door to kind of fi uh, find and go through the aisle way so to have it straight out of an exit. So that's kind of the feedback that they gave me and based, based on that we changed the layout quite a bit. So you want to build a wall on each side. Yeah, right? what we're going to do here now is we're going to... We're going to I'm the uh, crew leader for the Market Public Schools Division of Facilities and Maintenance shooting up shop and we've been asked to build out this truck into a food truck for the district and having our youth apprentices work on all of this. So we're kind of heading up this whole project. So what changed from last time is, uh, like, like Frank was saying, we were gonna put a wall here and then kind of enter the truck here and it just didn't feel right. And then some other things changed as far as equipment and the purpose of what we were doing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna construct a wall here and on the outside, put the propane tank. And on this side, we're gonna construct the wall. We put the generator, and then this will be the walkway. So pretty much, you'll have a walkway of 40, 40 some inches in between the- About 41 inches. Yeah, in between the, uh, the wheels here. So we have room over here. So if we take a tour, let's, let's go through the layout here. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So if we take a layout here, but well, go ahead. I'll let you take yeah. the direction. I like when you're talking. This about will it. be a this will be a hand sink, a hand washing station, and there'll be plumbed down below, and then over to our gray water tank. Over here, the bottom blue line will be the serving table, the yep. prep table. It's gonna go from here to there. It's a five footer. Yep, five footer. Stainless steel uh, top and stainless steel under shelf. And stainless right. steel legs. Yep. So what we did is we kind of marked it out here and then over here, so we kind of get a 2D, 3D visual of how this is going to look. This big blue rectangle is going to be the serving window. We'll have to cut that out and of course frame all that out with aluminum. We're going to keep, we're going to try to keep the structure of the original, keep the which is this one. Mm -hmm. And we're going to keep this one and then we're going to chop this one off. Yes. And then since they are uh, master metal workers, they can frame this out and make it you know, a lot sturdier than what I use with my wood. Yes. Because I'm assuming you're not gonna really use wood besides the, the backing, backing be besides, besides the backing, right? Correct, okay. Yep. And then you're gonna insulate? This, this will all be insulated with rubber okay. for noise. And then um, this is gonna be skinned with uh, 22 gauge 304 stainless. Both the passenger side, the driver's side, the ceiling, and then the front bulkhead. So everything will be stainless. Perfect. So there's that part right there. And before we move to the front, let's go to this side. That way we just walk, that way we stay on our knees here. There you go. <laughs> so over here in this in this area, we're gonna have a food warmer, we have written down here. And 
then from this point, it's sitting on top. So it's going to be a countertop food absolutely. warmer. Yes. So we're going to put a table, and then we're going to put the countertop. Right. Yeah. And then maybe a shelf underneath that table. Are you retrofitting? We're going to be like some small house. There you That's go. Right. A little camper. And then maybe a little, <laughs> maybe a little shelf on the bottom to store all the product. Mm -hmm. From this point over, and we're going to do a double. They call it a double well. Oh uh, yeah. Food warmer. So food it's going to be double. So it's going to extend. It's about 30 inches with the dimension that we saw. So it's gonna extend just a little bit over here. But as you guys remember, we try to keep six inches from where the cooking equipment is to the clearance to the other side. So we have enough space to be able to play with a little bit there. So we have a six foot table, but five feet of cooking equipment. Yes, five feet. All right, go ahead. So like Frank was saying, from that point, down to the right will be our cooking surface, will be a table. This is the original height, mm -hmm. but we cut the legs because then we're gonna have the cooking equipment up top. Right, so we're gonna take the serving table, we're gonna uh, cut the legs down to this height, right here, and then our cooking equipment, our griddle will sit right on top of that and be mounted to that stainless steel table. The blue line right here accounts for the height of our exhaust. Six footer, a mm -hmm. six foot hood. So it goes to the same size from right there, all the way to right there, and obviously to the ceiling, because we're gonna take this off, correct? Yes. This door and the tracking all comes off. Perfect. So we've got the table, we've got the cooking, the cooking surface, the griddle, we've got the hood with the fire suppression. And then over here, just watch your head up there. <laughs> there you go. Back in the corner, we have a 48 inch long refrigerator. Originally, originally it was supposed to be 36. And then we were going to put another one over there. But we just, so let's give them one big one. They can go ahead and put their sodas in there they can keep all their produce in there so one-stop shopping right there so it starts right there and it goes all the way to the wood yep a 48 inch and that's the, the width of it as well the depth so it comes out to right there and that's the height right there yep Perfect. so right in that corner will be the refrigerator along with a stainless steel top that they can use for food prep pretty much it and then uh we're gonna put the fire suppression system somewhere in this area you can, you know, you guys can figure that out whenever they do yeah, it. This but somewhere together. here is going to be a fire suppression system. Where it's going to be? That's a great question. Sure. We'll let those guys worry about yeah, it. Yeah, that's a that's, maybe up there. That's down we'll the figure road. It out. Yeah, right. but it'll go somewhere. And mm -hmm. then you guys can put shelves. You guys can put uh, yeah. Shelves little, will be on the bulkhead there. Yeah. Right. And shelves on the here. bulkhead over there. Mm -hmm. Put shelves back there. And then obviously you're going to put this with some lights. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then over here, what are we doing? We didn't, cut, we didn't cover that part. Yeah, back in this corner over here, you're gonna have a three compartment sink, which is required by the City of Milwaukee Health Department. And underneath the sink will be our um, potable water. And- Only one of them. Yeah, and underneath the, the truck here, between the wheel wells, we're gonna put our gray water tank. Which is gonna be a 46 gallon. Yeah, that's a 40 gallon potable, a 46 gallon gray. And then we're gonna go with the same style of three compartment sink that I use on my food trucks, which is made by Advanced Tab Co, which it measures 60 inches from left to right. It has a drain board on the left, a drain board on the right, and it still gives you your three sinks that we hits the... the that meets the requirements for the health yes, department. exactly. The wash, rinse, and sanitize that they want. And this is the height of that sink. So everything, to be honest, it's a small space in the aspect of, you know, a lot of other trailers that you see that are 18 foot, 20 foot, but it's compact, but it fits everything that you need. Yeah. It's kind of like those little, the mini houses mm -hmm. that, you know, you have a hundred square feet, but you have a bedroom, a toilet, or a shower, you have and, and, right and it all fits. Yeah, the kitchen. It's, it's, yeah. so it's kind of the same same way. It's compact, but it's efficiently used every inch, literally. Yeah. yeah. So we're really excited to have this laid out now, mm -hmm. to actually visualize what we have. Mm -hmm. We have all the SKU numbers, all the model numbers, now we're gonna take this and reduce all this to a CAD drawing yep. and then submit it to the city for permitting. Yep. And then uh, once they bless us with the, with the go-ahead and they bless our permit, then we can go ahead and start construction on this right away. We can't do anything unless we have that permit in play. Yeah, so we have, so part of it, obviously, like you said, the permitting, and then uh, for them, since they're a bigger organization, they have to do it through their uh, insurance. Yes. So, so it's a little bit of more of a risk management. So 
uh, it's a little bit different than maybe like a mom and pop shop, as we call it, right, that just has one location. They're a bigger organization, so they have to go through a couple more hurdles. Yeah, a couple more steps just to make this. Yeah, than than us, than us, uh, yeah. normal people. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so just know that there's a couple steps. Obviously, like I mentioned, using blue tape helps out a lot. Uh, as uh, Dave here, he likes to see everything visual, and I think we all can say that we are very visual, and we get a better representation when we see everything on the wall with blue tape or any color tape that you want. Sure. Right? It doesn't have to be blue, it can be purple, it can be pink. You guys can pick it, but what we have is blue. Yep, that's, any, that's any, what we have. Any questions? I think we're good. Uh, stay tuned, we'll, we'll shoot some uh, video on the progress as we move forward here. Yep. And leave your comments, leave your likes, yeah. and let us know, <laughs> just let us know what you think. And uh, Frank, I want to thank you, man. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video. If you subscribe guys and share. Please remember, like, subscribe, and share. And, and what I like about this project is that it's a lot for the kids. Yes. And then, you know, that's what's, what's very cool to me, and I like that just because it helps out the cooking, the culinary students, the apprentices. Right, the youth apprentices, they get actual hands-on yeah. training. Yeah. It gives them the, the critical thinking, yeah. uh, to problem solving, uh, to add up square footage, to know what it costs. How many sheets you're gonna need. How many, many sheets of stainless, how much piping, how many length of feet. So this is a really good, um, project to have our youth apprentices working on. Definitely. And um, I, I, like I said, stay tuned, uh, keep watching, and we'll shoot uh, updates as far, um, you know, uh, a few weeks down the road and yeah. how we're doing on our progress. And uh, leave your comments and let us know what you think. Go Packers. Go Pack. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Thanks again. Thanks, Frank. Yep. I have a couple announcements to make, but before I do them, I do want to thank each and every one of you for commenting, for subscribing, for putting your questions down in all my videos. That way I can help you build your food truck or your food trailer. Announcement number one is if you have watched a previous video, and the reason I say this is because I've received a few emails lately. If you watched an older video of mine that says anything about a free spreadsheet, I used to give out the spreadsheet for free. I no longer do, just so we're clear. I do have an ebook, that's announcement too. I do have an ebook that's available that includes the spreadsheet, or if you just wanna purchase the spreadsheet by itself, that is also available. I just wanna make sure I make that clear because I did receive a few emails that were saying that you are saying you have a free spreadsheet, and that is correct. I used to have a free spreadsheet way way back when i first started uploading videos on helping you guys and gals building your food truck and your food trailer just so we're clear once again that is no longer available for free it has a cost to it very minimal but at the end of the day it's something that you can invest in yourself invest it and you can find all that information for free on, on all my videos all the descriptions for my products all the spreadsheet is is a cheat sheet to get all the materials in one centralized location. That's all it is. Nothing more, nothing less than a central location where you have all my links. Hopefully that helps you out. Frank Baltiers on how to build your food truck. Thanks again for watching, for subscribing, and for commenting.